Hey, good morning, Greg over at DIY RV and Home. Back at you in the house, working on the bathroom sink. Uh, it's got a little problem. I'm gonna swing you around, show you what's going on. We'll get, get it tore apart. We'll see if we can't figure out what's going on. Get the parts, bring it back, and do the repair on this. So let me spin you around. So when we turn the water on, as you notice, I get water leaking from around the handle. So let's go ahead and pull that handle off. And for this one, if I use the, if I had the right one, it's a 332nd on the stem. Now this is a Delta faucet. Okay, you can see the water right there. Let's uh, grab uh, my trusty uh, one size fits all. We'll turn it on, we'll see what happens. Oh, there you go, you can see how it's leaking right there. So, first thing you gotta do after we've determined that is we're gonna go ahead and, ow, ow, I just hit my knee. We're gonna go ahead and shut the water supply off and we're gonna do both sides. So let me get so let me get those shut off, bring you back. Alright, with the water off, we're gonna go ahead and remove this assembly. And to do that, we start by taking this nut off. Then we just grab on the stem and just raise it up. So there it is. Let's see. So we have down in the hole, I was able to grab both of them. You've got a, a tapered spring. So the smaller section goes up. You have the seal for the bottom that actually seals shuts the water on and off and that rides right here and so this is closed position when it's completely blocked and then your open position o-ring that seals to the outer and then if you press there's a seal on the inside now i'm guessing just by the way it was coming out that this seal right here is what the issue is all right made it back from the store picked up two repair kits for the delta cartridge style that i have you want to make sure that you double check triple check make sure you get the right kit uh, get some help the book that i uh, used to cross-reference the numbers and everything like that was kind of useless. This was actually my second trip to the hardware store to get the correct one this time. So I'm going to pull these apart, rebuild them, both of them, and then we'll see if it fixes it. Now you do use a silicone uh, lubricant on the O-rings. Don't use any petroleum-based product because they will swell and they will damage. But I've got some silicone synthetic grease then I'm going to put just a little bit on just to allow them to move a little bit easier. So I'm going to swing around, get this all set up, and get this tore apart, put back together, and let's see if we get it fixed. All right, so this repair kit comes with a spring, a new seat, three O rings, and a backer. So let's get her tore apart and let's see if we can't fix her. Now, some of these parts aren't going to be used in this, on this one. So what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to med just put the old one on top of the new one, make sure it's the right one, that which it is. I'm going to put the old one off to the side. Okay. So it looks like it should be that one right there. That looks like a little stretch, so we'll put that one off to the side, move that one out of the way. And this is not optimal for my kit, it looks like. 
At least it didn't come off when I uh, took it apart, so we're going to set that off to the side. I'm going to get a little grease to lube up the O-rings. A little goes a lot, what, long way. Alright. Got that one on. Set that one right in to the recess on the bottom. There we go, Feel, feels nice and tight. So basically that's it for that part. We're rebuilding it. Now let's see. There's my old seat. There's the new one, along with the new spring. They both match up too, so I'm setting those off to the side. I'll get these put in the hole. We'll drop this back on and see if we don't get it fixed. So because I'm trying to put it down, right down in there, this seat and spring, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Allen wrench I used to take the screw off to loosen up the handle. I'm just going to put it through the way it's supposed to be. Set it in there, and just kind of move it over to the hole. Everything's in the right position. All right, let's drop this thing back in. Reassembled, got it orientated to where when I put the handle on, it quarter turns to the on position and then back off. And that is set up with right here. And then I also have it set in the closed position. Drop it down, make sure it goes in real nice and easy. We'll put the top the screw back on, or the cap, excuse me. Snug, but not too tight. Set the handle on, make sure it works closed on. Okay, this one's in the closed position also right now. I want to test to see if this one is still leaking. So I'm going to turn the water on, and see what happens. So we've got the water on. There we go, no leaky leaky from the stem. Very nice. All right, I'm going to pull this one apart, rebuild her. There it is, got it done. Two trips to the hardware store, a uh, little uh, blooper, might show that to you. And uh, she's got her fixed. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Hope to see you on the next video.